Hi there, it's Blair from Vita Campers. We have a brand new 2023 Red Air 60. So with the Air 60, a little different than the Air 80, we have a queen bed that flips off to the driver's side. You can see here we have the bed latches on the front and back, and we have the handles also on the front and back. All our Vita Air 60s come with two adjustable aluminum bed legs on top of a rubber truck bed liner. Very durable, very strong, abrasive resistant. Now we're going to set up the tent for the Air 60. The queen size bed flips over to the driver's side. The first thing we want to do is release the latch. To do that, we need to remove the pin. To open the pin, simply pull the ring back and slide it out. So before you open the bed, it's really important to position your body correctly. Don't open the bed by yourself from the front. If you're by yourself and you don't have an extra person, open from the back because you don't have any tongue trailer tongue to trip on or battery box. You've got lots of clear space to work with. So once the latches are released, before we lift the bed, we want to place the legs vertically. So to lift the leg, we want to pull the quarter inch push pin out. And then we want to place it into the vertical position by pushing the pin back in. Now that the legs are vertical, we're ready to flip the bed over and there, the bed will now be supported by the legs. So once the bed's open, we want to pull the excess fabric over top of the bimini arches. Once you have the excess fabric pulled out side on, along the side of the trailer, we want to, you can see here, there's a center bimini pole. We want to pull the center and the end pole over the bed end. So now I'm going to pull and I'm just going to let it lay there. So now I'm going to pull the fabric over the end of the bimini arch and I'm just going to make sure it's sitting on the poles evenly. So when we do our final setup, everything's sitting nice on top. Once the fabric is tilted and sitting on the end of the bed, you'll see the excess fabric inside the box. Again, we just wanna pull that over the side of the body so that nothing gets caught. And then we're going to lift this last bimini pole vertically and secure it to the Velcro and the bungee cords. Before I lift, I wanna have my left hand holding the fabric out and I wanna have my right hand on the bimini pole. And I'm just gonna use my body weight to pull it up and over so it's sitting vertically. So once we have the bimini pole set up, we want to insert the roof crossbars inside. That will help stretch the tent out, and then you can go around and secure the Velcro and the bungee cords for final securement. So before we insert the crossbar, I want to open the door. I'm going to go inside while it's kind of half set up, and then we're going to insert the crossbars into the roof. So now I'm inside the tent before it's finally set up. I want to insert the roof crossbars. You can see they're clipped onto the wall for travel. So on the Air 60, we have two different lengths, a short and a long. The long goes over the bed. The short goes above the living area. You can see here, again, they have a hand-like clamp that's secure to the bimini pole. So when we're inserting the roof crossbars, we want to make sure the screw heads are facing down, not up towards the tent, and we just want to clamp it on. So now we're going to push the bed end up and out now you may find on the door side, it's best to Velcro the entire wall edge to make sure it doesn't fall down in the middle on you. Sometimes you can do it without. Now, you'll also find having that fabric loose and not bunched up at the end will also make this easier. Now we'll clamp the bed crossbar to the center pole. Now we're going to insert the living area roof crossbar. We're going to clamp it onto the center bimini pole. 
and then we'll do the door side as well. You will find when you're putting the second crossbar on over the living area to go in on an angle. Don't go straight. It'll have too much tension. Straighten it after you've got them both clamped and then you can increase tent tension. So now we're gonna straighten the crossbars on the bimini poles, make sure they're straight and that'll give you adequate tension. Once we're done that, we're gonna go outside. We're gonna secure the Velcro. We're gonna pull it down, make sure the corners are lined up and secure the bungees. We're gonna start with the bed end. We're gonna secure the bungee all the way around and then we're gonna work on the body of the camper securing the Velcro and the bungees. It's good practice to make sure your corners match and line up. So as we come around the tent, we're securing the bungee cords to the anchors. Now, when we get to the end of the bed, you'll find it gets tighter near the end of the bungee cord. So pull on the loose end from the center of the bed. That'll give you more, more uh, bungee cord to secure underneath. Okay, we wanna make sure that we secure the Velcro and the bungee cords, and we're gonna pull down and across as we go along. So the optional jackknife sofa with the table and legs, the sofa acts as a bed when it's folded down for travel, or we can lift the, the sofa up and you've got a beautiful, comfortable two-seater with table. So to lift the sofa, we're gonna raise the base, put our other arm behind the backrest, push and pull. So to set up the table, just like the Air 80, we have pedestal bed or pedestal base legs, and you insert them in the floor, and then you place your table on top. It's a lot easier when you're inserting the table onto the legs to sit down. 